It is boring, but like they're the best team. I just want everyone to be happy. And who's the other one? Who's the other one? Oh yeah, United. 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 <laughs> My heart's saying Liverpool. You're the refreshed. cane of memes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the invincible season's on. Hello, I'm Sean Burke and welcome to Dream Team Coach with Betway. We're back, can you believe it? And as such, we've unpacked Jack, Nick and Andy from Hibernation as the Premier League season is about to kick off soon, which also means your fantasy leagues are going to kick off soon too. Sean, it's weird <laughs> seeing you presenting. I know, How I are you feeling? it feels weird. Yeah. I feel like an imposter. I should be over there where Jack's sat now. Right, let's start as we mean to go on, making bold, sweeping statements that we will surely regret. Okay. Right, let's start with the big one. Jack, who's going to win the Premier League? My heart's saying Liverpool. Yeah. It's got to be... It's, so close last year. Got got the check, got a trophy under our belts. Mm. I think they, they're going to do it. I'd like what to see uh, City win the Champions League and Liverpool win the league. A little reversal. Oh, that'd be nice. I love yeah. that. I just, just... I just want everyone to be happy. Yeah. Why? <laughs> just why? think it'd be nice. I don't understand why you want Liverpool to win the league. I don't. I don't understand why people don't want Liverpool to win the league. Uh, would you? You'd want to see but. City do it three times back to back. Yeah, just because they're so good, aren't they? It is boring, but like they're the best team in the league. That's it. Yeah, but you and want you want people to come up to their standard. I'm not saying I want City to win the league. Would you you'd want to see but. City do it three times back to back? Yeah, but they're going to win the league because Liverpool could run them close. I think that um, Wolves. <coughs> I'm waiting well, for we'll, it. We'll move on <laughs> to yeah. Wolves. We'll move on to Wolves. I think Liverpool are going to struggle early doors just because. Salah and Mane and Firmino in particular have had quite a long summers mm. and they had the Champions League which kind of already extended their season last year yeah. they are mm. genuinely going to struggle there's just no, no doubt Mane's about probably it. played more football than anyone else in like the last three months yeah. ever. when everyone else has been having a break he's been playing just like a lot of games basically so. non-stop yeah. and then he's still back in his home mm. country now like dishing yeah. out uh, aid to all, like, all of his all of his fellow nationals yeah, he's building guy. a school or something yeah, yeah. 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 Not he's, he's, he's not literally, literally <laughs> like a bricky on site <laughs> yeah. this is like I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> yeah, he's a hard working guy. guy. Yeah. Liverpool haven't really recruited very much this summer, and Man City have only signed Rodri so far. And uh, and Avellino, the left back. You know what's mad though? Chelsea, considering they've got a transfer ban, haven't actually done that badly. They they had that was it covered covered shit. Yeah, 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 and they've actually done the same amount of business as probably their rivals, which yeah. is nuts. I mean, they they signed Pulisic before it, right? Yeah. And yeah. Then just... so that, that sort of feels like a signing because yeah. he wasn't there. Mm. I don't know. And having people like, you know, Mount and Abraham come back from loan, it all sort of feels like they've had a... Oh, quite they've a signed loads of people. But... Yeah, I think, I think Arsenal have had a shocker. I think uh, Chelsea... I mean, they, they, have, they have had a shocker. Chelsea, I think, are going to struggle. Um, and who's the other one? Who's the other one that... Sh Oh yeah, Spurs. United. United. <laughs> United. <laughs> United. They've had a shocker as well. Let's be honest. Well, they're going to yeah. sign. They're going to sign Dybala, and all of us are going to be like, "Oh, Dybala, oh, he played really well with Pogba, like when back in 2014." And everyone's going to be like, "Oh yeah, buzzing." But that was when Pogba a gave a toss about who he played for, and also I just think Dybala. Would he go? Is he going there for the brand that is Man United? No, he's not. He's going there for the absolute wedge. If Wrexham came in and offered Dybala <laughs> a million pound a week, he would go there. And that's it. The most ridiculous transfer I've heard mm. is Nicholas Pepe to Arsenal. It's actually going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> that is bizarre. Yeah, yeah. Twice, twice. Like it's going to cost twice what their actual budget was. Yeah. Like after it, a thing, I was like, I don't really. I, does... I would love to see Zaha as well. Just looking at that, like, pretty sure they yeah. said they didn't have this money to buy me. Yeah. Now, is there an Arsenal's nonsense? car park? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I rate it. I'd be, I, if I was Arsenal, I'd be excited about it. Yeah. But also, I'd be pretty a bit chuffed. like. Would you? Have we not? We need to sign a yeah. centre back at some That's point. That's it. I'm like, kind of ambivalent. I'm like, yay, but yeah. still got this you're looking in the wrong place. Bigger last fire. Yeah. yeah, that was the problem last no, year. No, no, no one's looking at Arsenal going. Do you know what? Not enough goals up front. <laughs> yeah. Our forwards are shocking. Right, we've yeah. almost reached crunch time, and the Premier League season is kicking off soon. So you better get your fantasy teams locked and loaded, lads. Which player should you definitely have in your dream teams this year? It's not very bold, but Raheem Sterling, mm -hmm. I think he's the most popular player in the game at the moment. Yeah. Uh, mid Dunn midfielder, six and a half million, most expensive, but and he's, and now that Hazard's got, him and Hazard were the only two players to get over 300 points last year. So obviously right. Hazard's gone, Sterling's the only one left in the game who got over 300 points, so mm. deservedly the most popular at the moment. Yeah. Mm. We all know who I'm going for, Diego Jota. Jota. <laughs> yeah. But... For Dream Team players out there, obviously the game involves uh, Europa League, Champions League and all the Cups, so mm -hmm. Wolves have got a lot more games if we get past the uh, playoffs. Points start scoring from the playoffs, <coughs> so yeah, definitely Wolves early season just for those extra games. Jack, who are you picking? 
Who am I picking? Well, in, if I could have anyone. If you could have anyone in your dream team, who would you wear last year? Mark Mane. Yeah, just, yes, that's a very good one. Just is, is solid he, points. Is he still down as a midfielder? Down as a midfielder, yeah, six so, million. So, so that seems like a hack. A little of, bit yeah. cheaper than Sterling, yeah. Although I would say maybe wait until a bit later because obviously yeah. he's only just finished playing in AFCON so he might get a bit of a break. He might not play the first one or two games of the season. We'll have to mm. wait and see. It's time to crown our first yeah. meme supreme of the season. Each week the lads submit a footballing meme to the Dream Team Instagram page and you guys vote for your favourite. I've had a good pre-season, I think, yeah. yeah. I think well, the brain's back and refocused. I've not had any major meme tournaments to think about off the back of a, a long season. You're I'm the refreshed. cane of memes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, right. Who's this? This, this, is, this is me. Yeah. So Seriously. this is where... Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think where I've gone wrong is maybe it's just not as current. I was thinking there was a bit of chat saying, you know, Liverpool not done too much in the transfer window. I don't think you it's can bat Liverpool. They just can't, can you? Oh, let's crack on to the next meme, shall we? Oh, oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, Classic Arsenal... meme. Uh, yeah, Arsenal just uh, having a bit of a nightmare, really. I just think they've, they've had a mental block that they've forgotten how bad their defence is. I don't yeah. know what Unai Emery's doing on a day-to-day -day and he's walking into training and he's watching his defensive group go off and he's like... I like what I'm Fine. seeing there. Yeah, great. Fine. Love but it. what we do need the green is... clad, love it. Rob Holding, love him. <laughs> but the guy who keeps falling over, the German lad, <laughs> yeah. great. But then <laughs> he's looking at Abamyang and Lacazette and going, I feel like there's something missing there. We <laughs> he's need... watching them in training, just going top corner, top corner, yeah. top corner. He goes, no, we need something else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, on to the last one, Nick. I was just trying to think about you know United trying to defend next year. And it's, you know, wan is doing all the work while all of these losers are just watching on. I feel a bit harsh about Bailly because he's now out for like five months. So. <laughs> yeah. Should we find out who the winner is? Oh. <laughs> Drum roll. In third place, we have Jack Townsend. No. <laughs> I can hear. I know, shock. I, I can hear from this being said in your ears. So this must be really loud. And in second place, we have. Nick Elliott. No, I didn't hear that one. Get it in! Topples. Which means, of course, in first place, it's Andy Taylor. Fair play, fair play. The Invincible season's on. We've created a new segment where we give the panel a chance to get a bold prediction off their chest. Something that sounds crazy, but might just happen. As this is the first time, we'll give everybody a chance. Uh, so let me start. Uh, I'm going to lose my virginity at some point in the next five years. I know, sounds crazy, but I'll put it out there. Right, now you lads, well, preferably, so boring, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> preferably something football related. But that doesn't, that's, that's not how it's meant to be. It's meant to be something that might happen. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm, okay I'll start. I'm okay. going to go Leicester to finish in the top five. Fifth. Oh, Nick. Wow, Ooh. you killed me. Is that yours? So my, my <laughs> so I, I had two predictions. Mine was Wolves and Leicester to finish in the top six, okay. and then my second prediction was, and this actually, to be fair, I'm probably not even sailing close to the wind on this one. United not to finish in the top six. It's not even bold. Really, it goes yeah. hand in hand, though. Yeah. Right? I think it's that's the same. more reasonable. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know if it's bold enough. Make it bold, Jack. I just, well, I, I was just, I'm just looking at the state of Newcastle and thinking they could go down. So go be bolder, say be bottom. Bottom. Yeah. <laughs> bottom. Yeah, like it. That's a bit so low down bottom. bottom. All right. Yeah. All right. We've Good got bolder. three good ones there. Then Leicester fifth. Yeah. Uh, United saying, outside the top six. Yeah, and you're saying Newcastle, Newcastle bottom. bottom. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I like those predictions. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for today on Dream Team Coach with Betway. If you do one more thing today, make sure you sign up to Dream Team and get your teams ready. We're going to make a mini league for the Dream Team Coach and we'll all be in it. So if you want to join that, use the pin in the description below. The pin is in the description and the link to Dream Team is in there too so you can get set and ready for the season. Anyway, we'll see you in the league. Thanks for watching, see you next week.